Hi, welcome to the channel. And this is month three of the Hobby Apocalypse. Um, we're starting today on the 27th of February. Um, we're uh, we're two months in now. Uh, month one was um, Morven Val. Uh, month two was a squad of Battle Sisters and a Rhino uh, and a Palatine. Um, month three, uh, we're uh, stepping things up a notch uh, again. Um, so I'm excited to uh, to sort of uh, get cracking on uh, on this month's um, models and see where we uh, where we can take this. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for, to um, the Hobby Apocalypse um, crew, uh, the four riders of the Hobby Apocalypse themselves on DZ TV. Um, Sultan picked me as one of his uh, as, as his hot pick for the month, um, which I was uh, very uh, very pleased to receive. Um, I worked uh, worked sort of pretty hard on the. Um, uh, on the scheme um, and the model, so it's glad that I'm. I'm sort of really glad that uh, people are, uh, are looking at it and seeing um, seeing something uh, something good uh, coming out. Um, so, without further ado, um, I will um, switch the camera off from uh, you looking at me, and we'll get to look at some models. Hopefully, that will be uh, finished by the end of the month. So here we are with this month's offering to the Hobby Apocalypse uh, gods. Um, we are going to start with um, the big obvious um, sort of, I don't want to say elephant in the room. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. She's not that big. Um, however, um, yeah, the main model for this month will be an exorcist. Um, this is um, a very, very intimidating model to look at and paint. Um, I can't wait to see how it looks in my colour scheme, um, which is hopefully, as you already know, is uh, mainly yellow. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's a model I've looked at for some time um, and certainly a model that is somewhat scary, um, especially with the idea of painting it in yellow. Um, however, um, I, I do uh, I do enjoy my paintings, so um, this will be uh, this will be a real um, a real challenge and hopefully a real centerpiece for the army when it's when it's all done. Next up, we have five seraphim. These are out of the uh, combat patrol box, um, and as such, they have bolt pistols. Um, the sergeant, uh, sorry, sorry, sergeant, sister superior has a plasma pistol and a power sword. Um, the bases are from March of War. Um, it's their ruined sanctuary um, jump bases. Um, so specifically designed to um, negate the need for using these horror things, um, instruments of torture. Um, uh, instead, I've just drilled these, um, drilled a pin into the uh, the leg of the models. Um, and because they're resin bases, they're nice and heavy, um, sort of more than heavy to, uh, more than heavy enough to sort of stop these falling over um, in casual play. And finally, we have Night Squad. Um, now this is, uh, no, no, it's not Night Squad, it's Dusk Squad. Um, this is the second squad of Battle Sisters um, that I have at the moment. Um, now these are going to be a sort of a bonus for this month. Um, the actual points allocation is met just by the Exorcist and the Seraphim. Um, so whilst I'm going to sort of try and um, get everything done, um, how far I get through this squad will um, depend on how much painting time I get in these four weeks. Um, however, if I don't get these finished, that's not sort of... It's not a game ending um, issue and I'll just sort of try and finish them and tack them on to subsequent months um, allocation. Um, uh, as you can see, they're all named. I do name all of my models. Um, I haven't actually done the names on the base of the, uh, the Seraphim yet, um, uh, but that will come. Um, this squad is a mix of um, sort of the uh, the limited part models from the combat patrol box um, and the full 
Sororitas Infantry Squad kit, which came in the Battle Force. Um, what I've done, because the, um, the Combat Patrol box uh, doesn't give you a heavy weapon, um, so what I've done is I've actually taken the heavy weapon option from the full kit box um, and put that into this squad. Um, along with the sister superior here with the chain sword um, and one of these here has here we go um, Lara Quillet has a storm bolter um, I think the um, simulacrum might actually be um, be from the full kit as well but this is a mix of the the sort of the models from the two um, the two boxes um, just to give us a nice um, change so there we have it um, priming is the next job um, so these are going to be sort of full zenith or prime so i will be going starting with black and then gray and white um, then after that um, we'll be giving them an all over coat of overland sunset that's one of the things that i um, picked up from um, last month's um, painting uh, project um, uh, the, I, I didn't sort of give the zenith all, an all over um, with yellow afterwards and so what actually happened was I ended up trying to put some of the yellow over basically a black undercoat which was uh, tricky shall we say um, so this time um, there's basically going to be sort of four priming stroke base layers um, hopefully to get a bit of shading onto the, the model before I start going up through the yellows um but uh, the key part there will be that you know, every little bit of it is going to get covered in yellow <laughs> before any of the other colors go down um, so hopefully i won't have quite the same struggle uh, to get a nice even base coat this time round. so that's it for now and i will um see you after some of the base coats and priming has uh, happened and here we are after um, all the, uh, the base coating and priming. Um, so this is when the um, Overland Sunset has gone on. Um, as you can see, like I said, I've, I've basically sort of done the whole model. Um, the only thing I've not done on the Rhino is the actual Rhino Exorcist. Is the sort of the tracks underneath, um, but that whole thing is now a nice yellow as are all the seraphim and the uh, the bonus squad um, is all done as well if you're airbrushing one of these really handy um so next um next stage um i've done everland sunset that was through a 0.5 mil um nozzle on the airbrush um next step i jump down to a 0.3 um, because that's when we start to sort of put some of the um, some of the highlights um, and the gradient onto um, the models. So the next layer is aerial yellow. Then we'll go through to flash kits yellow, and then phalanx yellow. Um, so there'll be those three layers to sort of put a gradient onto the armour panels. And then we switch to um, the brush to do sort of all the other colours, details, etc. And I also brush on a final edge highlight of dawn yellow. Um, so as you can see, so sort I've of got a nice gradual step of yellows on there. Um, and it does help to sort of bring down from this particularly um, sort of strong overland sunset. It brightens it up, um, but it also um, takes some of the um, the real sort of depth of colour um, away. Certainly the edge highlights, um, it's almost a pastel yellow, that dawn yellow, so it does, um, it does knock it back slightly and sort of take away some of the garishness um of the color which i find is really helpful um and um once i get the green and red on it sort of combos really nicely uh, everything together um so i will crack on with um 
those next layers and we'll see you after that. And welcome back me. Right, um, sorry, losing the plot a bit. Um, must be the all yellow. So we're here at the end of the airbrushing stage. We've done Overland Sunset, we've done Aerial Yellow, we've done Flash Kits Yellow, and we've done Phalanx Yellow. All I have left is the brush stage with Dawn Yellow. But I thought I'd take a quick uh, snapshot update of where we are at the moment. Um, so as you can see, I've tried to sort of layer this up quite, um, quite subtly, um, leaving sort of the the darker yellow um, layers in the recesses and sort of trying to layer the uh, the lighter yellows over the top. Um, so we've got some darker yellow in there, um, light yellow around the edges and so on and so on. Um, um, so much detail on this model. Um, I mean, it's what the uh, 28th of February today? It's the Monday, so um, this month is sort of three days in, um, and already I'm looking at this and thinking, ah, am I going to get it done? We'll see. Uh, also got the Seraphim up to the same stage. These will definitely get done. Um, I'm very excited. I really like these bases um, from March of War. March of War. Go there, buy stuff. Ideally, tell him he came from me. Um, maybe it'll be nice and give me some free stuff. <laughs> um, I do like these models. Um, I really wish the rules made them better. Um, I mean, sadly, twin bolt pistols doesn't do a huge amount. Um, but never mind. Um, they are what they are. And... Um, I am looking to sort of bulk that out to a full squad and I want to get some Zephyr in as well. And we've also brought the Battle Sister squad up to the same stage. So the next stage will be, I think, green. And that will be green on the inside of the robes. Um, this is the, the batch painting horror stage of um, this particular scheme. Um, like many schemes, there's sort of uh, the initial excitement of getting colours on the model. Um, then you go through the nightmare horror stage of when you've got some colours on the model and you just think it looks terrible and there seems to be so much more still to do. Um, and then you put the final finishing touches on and you get all excited again because it looks starting to come together and it looks really good. Um, so that's where we are now. I will do some more updates as I get more colours on the models um, and hopefully they start to look less you know, bee-like. See you next time. And here we are at the end of week one. Um, I've done nothing more to them. Nothing more to the other sisters that I've actually put away. However, I have been working quite a bit on the exorcist, as you can see. Um, so what I've done, we've got some um, fragrant orange um, shade in some of the recesses. Um, we've done sort of the weapon casings. Um, I've actually done quite a bit on this detail here. So the sculpting... Uh, these sculpted parts in here um, are basically done. They're going to be sort of stone um, effects. That's the idea for those. Um, these uh, little sort of fiddly bits are done. They had the Fuegan Orange uh, shade in, then Iron Warriors, and then finished off with Stormhost Silver. Um, I've done some work on the exhausts. I've got the, the iron work around here still to finish off, but the flames are done. Um, We've got some uh, upper layers to do on this fleur-de-lis and the skull to finish. Um, then 
just some highlighting on some of the silver around here. Uh, we've got the cherubs to do. Um, then the rest of the stuff at the back here is largely done. Rivets all need doing, edge highlights all need doing. Um, I've started on the, the big wings at the back, as you can see, celestial gray on both sides, all fine gray on one. The wings of the cherubs are done. Um, started doing the rocket tips. The roses that are sort of just scattered around the inside there. Um, put down the basic first layer of highlights on the white keys. Still got the back ones to do. Um, some silver. I've done one of the one of the tracks with silver. Got the other one still to do. And then this side to um, to work on. So depending on how much time I get on that sort of this week, um, maybe I'll finish it this week um, if I get a couple of two or three really good sort of evenings in. Um, if I do manage to finish that in a week, and then we've obviously got the the organist to do as well. Amazing helmet that is just unbelievable. It's, Brilliant. I love that. If I get that done, then I'll move on to um, the Seraphim. Um, but hopefully you'll see that as that moves on through the week. Um, and then if I can get Seraphim done, then I'll see how much of the uh, second squad of Battle Sisters I can de get done before the four week deadline. Um, this is 175 points of the required amount that's another 80 odd points so um that will get me done i don't need to finish any of the sisters before the deadline if i don't manage to um so that's a wrap up on week one of month three and uh, i'll see you in a short amount of time for the beginnings of week two